Let's r Damn fine work you did taking out those guns. Damn fine. Unfortunately, while you were up there climbing mountains, we were down here getting our butts kicked. The Chinese decided to use our field HQ for target practice and damn near blew us all to pieces. We lost some good men, including my strike team commander, Colonel Patterson. I didn't call you down here for a pep talk and cigars. You've earned yourself a field promotion, soldier. As of this moment, you're taking over Patterson's strike team. And before you thank me, you better wait and see what your mission entails. There are three hardened targets that stand between us and the Chinese headquarters. That's where your strike team comes in. Follow me over to the situation map and I'll bring you up to speed. Okay, pay attention, soldier. I'm only gonna go through this once. We've set up our new field HQ down here. The area is pretty secure now that the artillery guns are gone. The first of the three targets we need to handle is their Chimera Depot over here. Be careful on your approach. You're gonna have to get through the enemy camp on the way. Once you breach the perimeter of the depot, you need to take out both of the main fuel tanks. Your second target is all the way over here. The Chinese have set up a listening post set into the side of Callaway Ridge. There are some abandoned mines along the route, so keep your eyes and ears open. It's a great place for an ambush. You need to clear the place of personnel, so we can get our intelligence boys in there to start decoding. Once the first two targets are down, the last obstacle standing in the way is their damn pulse field. You need to cross it, then cause it to overload, so we can mop up the place with the T-51Bs. Let me warn you now, unless you have some sort of a death wish, I wouldn't even go near the field until the first two targets are down. Lieutenant Morgan will be your eyes and ears for Operation Anchorage, so get everything else you need from him. Uncle Sam's invested a lot of money turning you into a killing machine. Time to pay him back. Dismissed! Lieutenant Thomas Morgan, Intelligence and Logistics at your service. I point, you shoot.
Carry on, soldier. The rest... So, you're in charge of Patterson's suicide squad, huh? Hey, all I got to keep me warm out here in this freeze box is my sense of humor. Anyway, I'm here to give you a hand with intelligence and logistics. Whatever you need, I'm your guy. Don't worry about it. Sergeant Montgomery will be your squad commander, and he knows all the ins and outs of the team. If you need anything, like reinforcements or status reports, just speak to him. So, what else can I do for you before you hit the field? Can do. Just use the requisition terminal here in the command tent. Pick whatever loadout you need, and the terminal will dispense a requisition tape. Bring it to the quartermaster officer and you're all set. The government sure loves its paperwork, doesn't it? That's my specialty. What target did you need a report on? You've got two fuel tanks to destroy. One in the central courtyard of the facility and one near the rear gate. This place is one tough nut to crack. Not only do you have the chimeras to contend with, but the place is heavily populated by infantry. Oh, this place is a honeypot, let me tell you. Not only is it swarming with regular ground troops, but they've put their best guys in there as well, the Crimson Dragoons. I hear those guys start training as soldiers right from the womb, so watch yourself in there. Uncle Sam's made it really easy for you. All you have to do is use Patterson's terminal here in the command tent. Use the recruitment markers I gave you and choose your team members any way you see fit. Then head outside to the barracks and your units will be ready to go. No way. The bigger your strike team, the bigger your footprint on all the Chinese sensing devices. You need to think small. The recruitment markers I gave you will recommend what size you keep your team in order to maintain the smallest footprint possible. So to put it simply, you pick a big clunky robot and you won't have much room left in the team for many other units. You decide. You can always speak to your strike team squad leader and requisition a new unit if you've lost one. Okay, whatever you need. Take out some of those... Well, looks like we're working together again, sir. General Chase assigned me to the strike team. And thanks to your promotion, I guess I'll be saluting you from now on. Hell, saluting is the least I can do. Do you have any idea how many of our guys you saved by taking out those guns? All in a day's work, he says. Yeah, sure. Every day I wake up and single-handedly infiltrate a commie-infested base on a suicide mission. With a role model like you, our boys are gonna turn into killing machines. That's the spirit, buddy. Now, on to bigger and better things, eh? Yes, sir. What are your orders? Yes, sir. On our way. We'll wait for you by the ice camp.
Sir. 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 You earned a lot of respect with the soldiers for what you did to those Chinese artillery guns. Tell you what, take this extra gear with you. Requisitions be damned. If anyone asks, it fell off a truck. Help yourself. Everything appears to be in... Ice camps right around the bend, sir. We're holding up here for the moment. What are your orders? Yes, sir.
damn commies caught me with my pants down. Don't tell anyone you found me like this, alright? Thanks. Look, I've gotta get back to HQ. I found some papers before I got caught. Good hunting.
Turn it, bastards! Nice work. They've been rolling those chimeras all over us for months. Good to see them out of commission for a while. I'm gonna order the strike team back to the field HQ. See you there. <laughs> 